so runny anymore, are we, Mr. Taken Stuff? <laughs> On my way, chump! You stay put. Oh, I gotta work on my landings. Arthur, look at your accuracy. You, you picked the softest spot on the roof. Dick, he's getting away. Get a snipe! Halt now, or face the combustible justice of the fiery blaze. Ooh, combustible justice, good one. And his side, kick! Friendly fire. Well, I think that put out his candle, friendly. Oh, my secret handshake. Lordy, gents. Your banter is immaculate. A pleasure to witness. Hi, I'm Arthur, and this is my friend the... How you doing? Fiery Blaze. Hello, I am the tick. Hot potato! Hey, sorry. Friendly fire. Hi, Arthur. Uh, boy, you two must practice a lot. Tell me about it. I, uh, saw your man Friday in trouble. I hope you didn't mind us stepping in. No, indeedy. Good man. Like I always say, anyone who's an enemy of evil is a friend of mine. Mandingo, how I grok your mouth music. Right behind you, brother. When it comes to battling villainies tied of fiends, I say the more, the merrier. Tide of fiends, man, you are creeping me out. Get off my page! <laughs> <laughs> so, how's the sidekick life treating you? Oh, well, I really don't think of myself as a sidekick, per se. Look at us, jabbering away when we all got work to do. But, uh, listen, why don't we get together sometime when we're not on duty? You know, trade war stories, maybe grab a bite? Yes, war bite. Good. Great, how about tomorrow night? Was somebody talking to you? Tomorrow night's good for us. It is? Tomorrow night, then. Here, my card. Zoom. All right, time to move it out. Bye, Arthur. Yeah, bye. bye. Wow, those guys got it going in spades. We have to get cards. I am the wild blue yonder, the front line in a never-ending battle between good and not so good. Together with my stalwart sidekick Arthur and the magnanimous help of some other folks I know, we formed the ying to villainy's malevolent yang. Destiny has chosen us. Wicked men, you face the tick. That was fantastic. Quite an impressive display. Did you see when the blaze made that wall of fire? Who can deny the snazzy of that? Are you denying the snazzy of that? We gotta get our act together, chum. Like blazing fire, a superhero and a sidekick have to be a well-oiled machine. <laughs> What'd you put all that Tabasco sauce on it, then? Pretty. Yeah, I'd say you guys are pretty well-oiled. What? Yes, as far as a dynamic duo goes, you, you two seem to have your act together. Two together, even. What does that mean? What? Well, you, know, you know, the way that you two are, the way you bicker, the way you eat off each other's plates, the way you... Finish each other's sentences. You guys are like a... Couple of crime-stopping buddies joined at the hip like a pair of Siamese winners. You can't deny that you don't envy the camaraderie, the esprit de corps that we two share. It's impossible. Truly, I feel for you. What, are you saying there's something wrong with working alone? Oh, heavens no. Lots of people work alone. Lonely people, for example. <laughs> no offense, boys, but I, I'd find your arrangement a little uh, stifling. Yeah, amen to that. Well, maybe that's because there's only room in your lives for yourselves. <laughs> Bullseye! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> Mendel, we're not lonely, are we? We? No. No, 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 no. We're too attractive to be lonely. Yeah, but we are alone. I'm not alone. No, uh, spinsters and uh, shuttons, toll booth attendants, these are alone people. Uh, but Manuel is lone, as in a lone ranger or a lone wolf. No, alone is an unfortunate predicament. Lone is an aesthetic choice. Right. You don't sound convinced. No, I'm convinced. Definitely. I'm down with lone. I'm alone. Night. I 
am the man of La Mancha. My dream is impossible. Dick, you are not going to dinner tonight with that beard. La Mancha. La Mancha. La Mancha. I wish you would ask me before you said we'd go out with blazing fire. I mean, we don't know these guys. It's going to be, you know, awkward. Oh, fiddle faddle. Arthur, you need to be in the company of folks who know your strokes. Now, an evening with the uh, fiery blaze and his cohort will make you appreciate the joys of duo dumping. Yeah, yeah. Now, would you look at this? How many times have I told you about the toothpaste? I know what toothpaste is. When you leave the cap off the toothpaste, the toothpaste gets hard and you can't get it out. Doesn't do that for me. That's because when you get the toothpaste, I've already cleaned it and put the cap back on. Well, good gravy! We are a well-oiled machine. May I help you? Yeah, Randolph. The little black one in the window. Ah, oh, the chow. Beautiful breed. They were once used as palace guards for the emperors of China. Great, oh. how much is he? Well, it's a she, and her name is Lilith. Ugh, that's gotta change. How much? Well, I suggest you spend some time with Lilith in the back, make sure you like her personality, and then we can talk price. Personality? He's a dog. He sits, he rolls over, he plays dead. How much? Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you, ma'am. Why don't you go rent a videotape or something instead of ruining some poor puppy's life with your single woman hormone, clock is ticking, impulse buying nonsense? Just sell me the damn dog. She's not for sale. Not to you. What you need is a singles chat room, ma'am, not some living creature. Good day. So I bust in, and there's friendly fire, blindfolded. Tied to a chair, dynamite all over him, shivering like a wet cat. <laughs> I tell you, that was a Godak moment. Stirring tale. It reminds me uh, of the time oh, that... Look really at like this. like to make this a regular get-together. What kind of movies do you two like? I like everything. Hey, they're showing all three Back to the Future movies back-to-back -back at the Odeon. What do you say? Oh, well, we kick? Oh, let's go see Back to the Back Back. Yeah, I don't know. Um. If I see more than one movie in a row, I get a headache. Well, we could bring some aspirin. Oh, way to cling, fire. Good and needy. All I'm saying is that it's... Take it from a veteran, bunny man. All he's saying is, like me or I'll swallow a bottle of pills. Hey, honey. We got a little action over here. You know what? I'm gonna go find the... Bathroom, great. I'll come with. Huh? Uh, oh, well... Right. Sidekicks, huh? <laughs> Look, I don't want to pry, but does Blaze always treat you like that? Like what? So, uh... What does Arthur do? He flies. Once in a while, mostly he yells like when I leave the cap off the toothpaste. Whoa, there. Hey, that's no good for you, man. You're the superhero. You gotta keep your head clear to wage war against the wicked. Sidekick's supposed to put the cap back on the toothpaste. I heard that. Hey, you're the star player on this team. He's supposed to take care of all the little stuff, bills, laundry, sending out Christmas cards. Go tell it on the mountain. Dude, I'm on. The mountain. My God, it's true. He has no respect for my rights, my feelings. But he doesn't literally kick you, right? Only during fight practice. Although he does seem to be practicing an awful lot. Is that a bad thing? Yes. You're smart, Arthur. What should I do? Well, um... But one word. I'm 29 years old, it's a Friday night, and I am all alone. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of uh, busy here. No, come on, talk to me. For God's sake, I rented Sleepless in Seattle tonight. That is bad. I know, I even tried to buy a dog today. You tried? Nah, it's a long story, never mind. Okay, fine, can I go now then? No, no, come on, talk to me, I'm vulnerable over here. Vulnerable, huh? Well, uh... What do you wear? My uniform, of course. Why? 
No, you're a Liberty Pantish. What the color are they tonight? Do you always have to hide behind sex? I can't help it. It's just so big. Hello? I'll tell you what, that Blaze fella is cool for cats. What? Tick, didn't you see the way he was treating friendly fire? I saw the way he stuck his finger in your coffee and brought it back to piping hot. Are you expecting someone? I'm always expecting someone, Arthur. Now? Are you expecting someone now? I don't think so, no. I took your advice, Arthur. I quit. I took a stand. I said, you can kiss my ash, and I walked right out of there. Oh. I thought you were just going to talk this thing out. There's no talking to the fiery blaze. You know, I left in such a hurry, I didn't think to bring any money for a hotel or anything. Oh, well, uh, there's a motel right up the street from here. I'm sure we could lend you a well, couple you of... stay here. Frank! Could I speak to you in the other room? Of course, chum. You fuck up, because you're staying here with us tonight. Off to the other room, then. Forget it. Forgotten! <laughs> Okay, now remember, the dog is a gift for your girlfriend. No, make it your wife. That sounds more stable. Oh, oh, oh! Better yet, make it your kid. Okay, my kid. Okay. okay, yes, yes. Okay, now which one is it? It's the little black furry one in the window. Oh, the chow. Mm -hmm. You sure you want the chow? Because purebreds are very high strung. Will make you just it. go get him? Go. I'll be right here. Go, go, go. This is not the one that I said. Uh, yes, well, Randall said that Chow's aren't good with children. No, but I, no, he, he was very other man. Chow. All right, heel. Heel. Damn it, heel. Excuse me, ma'am. What? What is that for? You failed to clean up after your dog back there. What are you kidding me? We have a pooper scooper law in this city, ma'am. You actually expect me to pick up a dog's crap? Have a nice day, ma'am. That's sick! That's how you spread the plague! Oh, God. It's been nearly an hour. What the hell is he doing in there? I gotta take a shower. Oh, and that song is driving me crazy. Well, on this way, agree, chum. He never lets it stop. It's seeping through the walls. It's been making the tap water taste funky. He was only supposed to stay here for a night. That was three days ago. You gotta get rid of him, Tick. No, 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 no. That's no good for me. I need to keep my head clear to wage my war against the wicked. Dealing with friendly fire, that's definitely a job for the sidekick. You know what? I'm getting sick of hearing that word, sidekick. I don't remember ever agreeing to be a sidekick. Well, listen, leading is hard. Now, I may not know all the answers, but I'm the captain of this ship. And when the compass says iceberg, it's my job to hire the band. Tick, I am putting my foot down. I'm putting mine down right on top of it. Don't you get bossy with me, fella. I'm the head chase, and I say it's time to go on patrol. Fine. Why don't you just go patrol yourself, then? Fine. Maybe I will. Oh, my God. I nearly jumped right out of my skin. I thought I heard Fiery Blaze in here. He used to say the same exact things. Does he always talk to you like that? Uh, no. Uh, he never used to, anyway. Superheroes. They're all on the same power trip. Face it. The honeymoon is over, Pally. You get yourself cleaned up, Arthur. I've got some friends I'd like you to meet. Come on, Arthur. You're gonna love these guys. Trust me, they're just like us. Fire, I'm not really in the mood Everybody, to... I would like you to meet Arthur. All right, hey, Arthur. Arthur. Hi. Arthur kicks for the tick. You may have heard of him. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Arthur, this is Johnny Republic. He works for Uncle Samson. Hey, Art. Welcome to my little group. This is Fish Boy, Lost Prince of Atlantis, sidekick to the angler. And over here we have Kid Caboose. He works for Runaway Train. Arthur's having a few problems with his hero. So he got me a punch clock for my birthday. No. Yes. So now I have to punch in every time I go on work and punch out when I go off. Which sucks, because he doesn't even pay me. Yeah, and, and he gets to wear body armor and a helmet. And I get stuck with this little flimsy thing right here. One layer of spandex. And these bright colors, man, who you think they gonna shoot at first? Yeah. He makes fun of my webs. 
you know what? I, uh, I don't think I belong here. I'm sorry, but frankly, the, the dick is nowhere near that bad. He actually looks out for me. I'd never stay with a person who, who made me go on crazy diets or, or threw spears at me or, or told my parents that I'm dead and then smuggled me across state lines. I mean, you people have deep, deep problems. The Tick and I, we... We don't. So, uh, I'm gonna go. Do you see now? Do you see what I have been forced to deal with here? I see you're not the person who should own a pet, yes. Oh! Oh! Aw, uh -huh. oh, damn it! Stay out of mommy's hand grenades! Ugh. Why the hell did you make me get this damn dumb up anyway? Uh-oh. So I've uh, got to get going now. <sighs> he doesn't know where to go. Without his better half, he is lost without a paddle in the ocean of his own notions. Tick? Oh, call me Ishmael. Arthur, it's you. <laughs> you smell good. Thanks. So how's patrol? Oh, quiet, mainly. Nobody seems to be doing anything wrong tonight. Yeah? Huh, it's weird. Yeah. So, you know, Tick, I've been thinking. We have it pretty good, you and me. I think we fill in each other's weak spots. You're bulletproof, for example, and I'm not. True, and it's your firm grip on reality that keeps our ship on course. Well, yeah, I Guess you're right. Guess nothing. You're on a first-name basis with Lucidity, little friend. I have to call it Mr. Lucidity, and that's no good in a pinch. I just don't want to turn into blazing fire, okay? Evans, man, what kind of crazy Frankenscience could make that possible? No, I mean, we don't have to argue about who's in charge. Just because other superheroes boss their sidekicks around. Old hat. I say we swim upriver. We're the Mavericks, chum. When society says jump, we say pass the salt. You are hard to keep up with. Arthur, I am here to save you from yourself. Well, hello, friendly. How goes it? Don't listen to him, Arthur. Be strong. They always come back talking pretty, but you can't trust them. Hey, whoa there. Let's put a lid on the stink talk, Nervy. Your words can't hurt anymore, mister. Arthur and I are going to be a duo from now on. Sidekicks, unite! Yeah, uh, friendly. I think you've got the wrong idea about us. The Tick and I, we're a duo. Yes, and we're more than a duo, Mr. Kling. We're a duocracy. What? I smell sweaty, drinky uncle person. What? Look out, evildoers! I'm fiery blaze. Wow, you got a little less cool. Come here. Um. What's the name? He never named it. Oh, yeah. Um. Dog? Come here, dog. Oh. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Oh. On the bright side, at least they can't bark with a hand grenade in its mouth. Enough is enough, friendly fire. It's time for you to come back to the fiery station. You made your little point. Give me one good reason why I should go back there. Because I... I... Oh, I'm no good without you. I... I can't find nothing. The station is a mess. I got no will to fight crime. You gotta come back. You have to promise me that things are gonna change, Blaze. 
You promise? Look at you. Duh. Fell down. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Well, Arthur, I think we learned tonight that nobody wears the pants in this family and that we're all the better for it. Now, let's say this duocracy go get a bite to eat. That is, if you're okay with it. Sure. <laughs> Friendly fire left a tube or something in the bathroom. I have to get that back to him. I'm telling you, Arthur, that checkout lady was giving me the hairy eyeball. Dick, it's called glaucoma. She's up to something nefarious. She makes $5.25 an hour. She can't afford to be nefarious. Well, you got to admit, he's much better behaved now. Yeah, sure. Neutering a dog will have that effect. Though I must question your message. That man Liberty, Cap Manuel, long time no see. Geronimo, where'd you get the platypus? <laughs> <laughs>